Welcome to In The Workshop. This is called How To Make A Water Gauge Blowdown Valve. And this is the Stuart 504 steam plant that I've been working on. When I initially put the plant together, I fitted a standard Stuart Models drain cock to the bottom of the water gauge. Unfortunately, it leaked really badly and it was brand new, so I sent it back to Stuart Models and they sent me another one, and that was even worse. So in the end, I decided not to bother with the Stuart Models drain cock and fit one of these. This is a globe valve and this will not dribble, because we all know that there's nothing worse than a dribbling drain cock. So I'm thinking that this small globe valve is the way to go. In order to fit this globe valve, I have to partially dismantle it and move the clacks out of the way. So at the moment I'm removing the union nuts, which allows me to drop the piping, and then all I have to do is slacken the nut on the main fitting that goes into the boiler, then I can just rotate the adapter that I made out of the way. In order to make the globe valve fit on the bottom of the water gauge, I also have to partially dismantle it. I'm unscrewing the tap part of the valve. And once I've removed the tap, all I have to do is put a very, very small amount of Loctite 542 on the threads at one end of the body, and then I can screw the entire assembly into the bottom of the water gauge. I really don't know why I've never done this before. From a practical appearance point of view, it's going to look pretty good. But the main thing about it is, it is not going to leak and dribble water all over the baseboard. I'm conveniently using the nut at the bottom of the globe valve body to tighten it into the correct position so that when I fit the tap back onto the body, the tap is pointing in the right direction. And that's the job almost done. I just have to reposition the clack adapter and reattach the piping from the injector and the hand pump to each of the clacks in turn. What's really quite interesting about this job in a very sort of nerdy way is if you look at the water gauge you can see that there's been water in it all the time and the only time it dribbled out was when I messed about with the clack valves because the vacuum in the boiler stopped the water in the water gauge from running out. This is a 1 8 pipe that I turned down to fit the very small 3 30 seconds of an inch union cone. Normally you would just use 3 30 seconds pipe but I wanted to use 1 8 pipe, which is a bit more durable. And I'll give you a quick tip, if you're turning copper in the lathe, do it with a very sharp cutting tool and do it very slowly, only removing the minimum amount at each pass. I made it a nice loose fit on the union cone, and when I silver soldered it all together and cleaned it up, it looks like this, and I think that looks much better than the usual 3 30 second pipe. This size of pipe is very prone to blocking up with lime scale, whereas 8 pipe doesn't tend to do that. So I'm happy with this, I've just bent it into the right position to put it in compression against the existing pipes, which will stop it from wobbling about. I'm really sorry that this is a short video, and this is a short video. Quite unlike the previous video that I uploaded this morning, that was 12 minutes 37, but it didn't stop a couple of viewers from saying that it was a short video. This is a short video, not on purpose, it's just that's as long as it took to do the job. I've been waiting for the correct part for quite a while, and it's obviously not going to arrive, so I thought I would do this, and really, this is how I'm going to do it in the future. This is a far better way of doing it. It's not going to leak at all. I open the valve, the water comes out. I close the valve, the water stops coming out. And as you can clearly see in this clip, I've piped the water to go into the lower part of the water tank, where it can be pumped back into the boiler by the hand pump. And that's about it for this one, short and sweet. It's the quality, not the quantity. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Short, but useful.